and the clip will just pop off as the tomato stalk grows larger. It's now day 14 after we planted our seedlings, so let's see how they're All doing. The flats we have in here, and so we have just a few of these seedlings starting to pop up over here. Okay, so that's coming along. We got one, two, three, four flats. Here's one over here, and here we are. It's a cold February night, and I'm in the greenhouse and wanted to show you a little bit about what our tomatoes look like as they're growing under our grow lights. So we got all sorts of tomatoes, some blue tomatoes, and some heirloom, and some early girl. So here we are, this is uh, Valentine's Day, February 14th, and here's our tomatoes. You can see how big they are. So now they have a couple sets of actual leaves. We're gonna start fertilizing them. We'll go with half strength for a little bit, well, for about three or four weeks, and then we'll go to full strength fertilizer after that. And the closer we get a month out from putting them in the ground, then we'll go to super bloom. So I'm in the greenhouse today, grafting tomatoes. So here's some tomatoes here. You can see, uh, let's see, this one is already grafted. Grafted, and there's another one right behind it. Another one over here. There it is. So if this were a tomato stick, you'd cut this at about a 45 degree angle. Then you take, you take your little silicone clip like this and you pinch it open like that and then you slide it over top of the tomato stalk and then you cut the other tomato that's going to be on top and slide it in so those two angles meet and then you put it in a little dome we have a tray of them. Most of them were big enough to do grafting, so we have all the little clips on the grafted. So we've watered them, we've missed them, we have them in a tray. We're gonna cover them with this plastic dome to keep the humidity in. We'll put another tray on top so they don't get too much sunlight. And we'll check back with them every couple of days. You can see these with the little clips on them are the grafted ones and they are growing nicely. We have some that are a little look like they're a little farther behind in size but after the surgery they had to go through that's kind of understandable so we are going to up pop those pretty soon and we'll be ready to plant those as well. So here's a couple of tomatoes, and this one here, you can see the clip is just about to come off, and this one over here is where the grafting has taken place. It's been successful, and the clip will just pop off as the tomato stalk grows larger. So that's how they do that. You do not have to remove them. They will pop off by themselves. Okay, so let's take a look at our grafting we've taken these out of the pots and you can see that uh, this one has pretty good uh, grafting that graft looks like it's about to pop off here's one over here that uh, still looks good here's the the run of the litter it's a little small but hopefully it'll pick up in the growth pot them and it'll look like this in the pots and then we'll get them watered and fertilized and all marked up and ready to grow. This is March the 7th, and here's our tomatoes in the greenhouse. We have up potted them, put them into bigger two and a half or three inch pots. 
and you can see some of these are really gotten tall they're probably 10 inches maybe 12 inches tall so we're now about a week from our tomato cell which will sell all these tomato plants okay now we finally got to the best part about growing tomatoes and that's plant them well not the best the best parts actually eat them fun part is planting them so now we have those in the ground I want to tell you that one of the things you want to consider doing is subscribing down below so you can see the results of all these grafted tomatoes because what we did is we grafted tomatoes to a rootstock that we bought and we grafted it to an early girl and the reason we did that is because early girl was a tomato that we had great production on last year if you want to see how good the early girl did last year I'll leave a link down below to the video on my tomato summary and tasting you'll be amazed how many tomatoes I got off from early girl last year we'll produce more videos to tell you how they did to compare them all to the ungrafted as well so with that if you like our video be sure to give us a thumbs up if you want to see more of our tomato videos subscribe down below and as usual come back and see us real soon.